Hey, everybody. Good to see you again today. I was thinking about my previous post where I talked about Steve Harvey having a nephew, Tommy, or so he was called on his radio show, and uh, calling and playing practical jokes over the phone on someone, and somebody saying, pump the brakes, and how stupid that sounded. And it caused me to remember something from my past. When I was going to PS114 in Queens, New York, and the Rockaways, as you know, many years ago, for the first three years, I had a very hard time there because we had a lot of spoiled brat kids there and the principal didn't want to do anything about them. He was actually afraid that if he enforced discipline, that these parents who exercised a great deal of influence over not only the city, but the state of New York might come after him and get him removed from the school. And ironically, it was his lack of enforcing discipline that caused him to be removed from the school. I had come home one day in the third grade. I had a miserable day. I was one of those kids whose parents were not the son or a daughter of someone who wielded a great deal of influence, political or economical. And some of the kids zeroed in on me to bully me. And I tried to tell my parents and my grandparents what was going on. And instead of recognizing the trauma and allowing me to vent before they very calmly spoke to me, my mother said, hold your horses. And I said, well, what are you talking about? What, what horse? And then I realized, oh, it's another one of those stupid expressions. And I came out and said, is that another one of your stupid expressions? Please don't say hold your horses. I don't have any horses. Okay. And I hear some people saying it. Even in the Gwen Stefani song, Bubble Pop Electric, her date says, hold your pretty horses. That is so annoying if you don't have horses to hold. Again, just like pump the brakes, hold your horses is exceptionally annoying. Okay, say, wait, hold on just a moment. Hold your horses. You hear how stupid that sounds now? Okay, I'm trying to help you sound smart, so don't say it. Don't say it ever again, all right? Okay, be good, we'll see you next time.